What's up, y'all? So your girl is back, and y'all already know by the title, I'm going to take you through my wash day routine. Now, let me just put this out here. Anytime a YouTuber upload their wash routine, y'all need to just give so much support in the comment section because when I tell y'all I turned my bathroom into the dolphin exhibit at an aquarium, this was the most difficult video I have ever filmed, edited, the entire nine yards. I drowned it a few times. I could go on. But anyway, I'm going to wash my hair from this rusty, dusty puff that has so much oil, eco style gel, just birds poop anything that you could think about was in my fro so I am just going to saturate my hair completely with water I'm trying to just kind of finger detangle the ends as you see here and I'm gonna separate it into four sections which I find works out a whole lot better for people with more coarse hair that gets tangled you know natural hair everybody needs to wash their hair in sections because you end up losing less hair when you do it and you guys will see that at the end so as you see here just getting that water into my hair now for the sections and then I'll come back later with more details So use whatever you want to to keep the sections separated while you're going through this process. I like these crocodile clamps, clips, what are they? The big mouth clips because they really secure my hair and they're not like those small clamps that kind of go in and then they have teeth and be pulling your hair out and you regret every decision that you ever made in life. So these are my go-to but you can use like the twist method like just put your hair in four big twists while you're doing this. It's up to you sis but this is what works for me. So in this step here, you see me detangling from my ends up to my roots and I'm actually holding on to the hair maybe about a few inches up from where I'm actually combing it just so that I can lessen that tension that happens where you're kind of like tugging on your hair. So I hold my hand right there firmly and I comb through it until I'm able to comb completely from the root to the end. And if you want to, instead of using a comb, you can do your fingers, you can finger detangle your life away. I'm supposed to be doing it, but I'm this loyal and I don't want my hair to grow clearly because I keep raking this comb through there. I just don't feel like the finger detangling be working out for me because my nails just as rough as this comb. I don't know y'all, pray for me in that. But at least I'm doing it while my hair is completely underneath this water because it allows for the flow to be a lot more gentler. Is that how I say it? A lot gentler? It allows the flow to be a lot gentler. I hate how that sounds. I actually hate that. It's an easier process. It's smoother and I'm able to get the comb through there. I could not comb my hair any other way. And I know a lot of people wait to do the detangling step while they have conditioner in their hair, but I dare not put no shampoo in here without combing it because I'm gonna have to cut the rest off, okay? So um, it's up to you, your poison, whatever you choose to do. It, if it works out for you, keep it that way. But the only thing I recommend is doing it in sections. So for my wash day today, I'm actually slipping back into Shea Moisture's DMs and I'm using their Manuka and Honey line because it is my absolute favorite when it comes to getting that moisture and just a good like, uh, y'all, I can explain. Shea Moisture is just like that boyfriend that you break up with, but y'all on and off and you just keep sliding back and you just really can't get your life together because you ain't, you know, you just, you just ain't found yourself worth yet. So, uh-huh, mm-hmm, yeah, I'm actually just trying to get done with what I already had, 
but I will say hands down until I find something better this conditioner and deep conditioner my hair the slip that it creates like how much moisture it leaves in there y'all will see the shine at the end but I gotta learn to let go someday but anyway just a disclaimer you see me here I'm shampooing in sections and using the tips of my fingers not the nail but like the very um what is it called where your fingerprint at yeah I'm using that to actually get on my scalp so I'm not creating like any abrasions or you know soreness on my scalp um, and then I'm going to do this wash process twice and it just depends on how dirty your hair is if you even use shampoo if you're co-washing you can co-wash twice but I know my hair is filthy haven't washed it in about maybe two or three weeks so I felt like twice around with the shampoo was good and then I rinse it thoroughly and I always make sure that I massage my scalp when I'm rinsing out putting in because the scalp is very important in your wash process All right, y'all, so after you shampoo and you feel like your scalp is as clean as it can be, your hair feels nice and like squeaky clean, you can go ahead and move forward with your conditioning step. I use a lot of conditioner and trust, believe me, baby, if any of it falls on the ground, we picking it up and we sliding it somewhere on the hair because it's too expensive to waste. But um, as you'll see here, I'm just going to massage it in until it completely penetrates and you can't really see it sitting on top. And then I'm going to cheat by putting my deep conditioner on top of this conditioner and I'll tell you why one I was lazy I didn't feel like washing one out to put another one in that's going to do the same thing and then two I just feel like what harm could it give since it's from the same line I feel like I could do that but if it was another line in a different deep conditioner or conditioner I would actually wash it out and then do the right thing you know but since we lazy here we go
What we're not gonna do is act like we've never used Walmart bags or garbage liners, if you're real fancy, to be a processing cap because we either ran out or we can't find one. So I did this for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes and um, I showered, did everything that I needed to do, and as you see, all of that like steam, the heat from my head, it really wore off into the cap, and my hair just feels amazing. If your hair don't feel like a baby's bottom when you get done deep conditioning, try it all over, sis, because that ain't it. That's not the one. It should always feel like a baby's booty. So um, as you see here, I'm just going to rinse this out thoroughly because you don't want any leftover product, you know, clogging your pores or just, you know, preventing your hair from really penetrating like what you're going to use to style and seal your um, moisture. So I'm just going to go through. You can finger detangle during this part too because you just want to make sure that your hair is completely ready to be manipulated for your styling. Oh, y'all look at this shine look how just thick and juicy my hair looks that Shea Moisture is bomb um, that particular product the Manuka honey and Mafrera oil it's it's amazing but here are my final results my hair is all clean it's super hydrated and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to style and then here guys this is how much hair i lost within this entire process now the smaller curls that fell i couldn't really pick all of those up but these are the longer strands the shedding that came and i feel like this is pretty good so like i said washing your hair in sections is the goat okay goat of the century for natural hair and keeping all your hair on your head so i hope you guys enjoyed this video y'all already know what to do subscribe before you leave tap that bell so you never miss another one Peace, guys.